Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven. And is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The five glorious mysteries. The first mystery is the resurrection of Jesus. We offer this mystery for all who are sick and suffering, especially those afflicted by COVID-19. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus to heaven. We offer this mystery for those serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staff, security forces, pharma staff, supermarket and bank employees, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. We offer this mystery for countries that are greatly affected by the COVID-19 crisis, especially our country, the Philippines. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven. We offer this mystery for the protection of our families and loved ones from sickness, danger, and harm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. We offer this mystery for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed, especially those who had passed away because of this virus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, provinced children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. Then after these our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. For the intention of our Holy Father, 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed us and claimed many lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts and healthcare personnel that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunzot, pray for us. That in all things, God may be adored and glorified. Amen. They need the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for all who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries, for those who are sick, especially with COVID-19, for all those who are serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staff, security forces, pharma staff, supermarket and bank employees, OFWs and seafarers, teachers and school administrators, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors and all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration and for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed. Today we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, our Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Father. As we contemplate the incarnation of the Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, we praise God who created the family of humankind and who in the fullness of time sent His Son to be part of every family. Christmas is celebrated in the family. May today's feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph teach us to value our very own family. And so to prepare ourselves to participate in these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Let's pray. O God, who are pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bands of charity and so in the joy of your house. Delight one day in eternal rewards through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. God wills that we live lives pleasing to Him. The wise man teaches that a good life means having a family where members love and respect each other. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for his sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten, firmly planted against the debt of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine. In the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. As members of Christ's body, we form one family, with Him as our head. The Apostle Paul tells us how we should defer to one another. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love. That is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Wives, be subordinate to your husbands, as in proper in the Lord. 
Husbands, love your wives and avoid any bitterness toward them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children so they may not become discouraged. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the peace of Christ control your hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it was, it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons and in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and then the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him. He took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people, Israel. The child father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword, will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Panuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom and the favor of God was upon him.
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This octave of Christmas until we celebrate the solemnity of Mary, the mother of God, is still Christmas. It's still Christmas. That's why we greet everyone. It's still Merry Christmas. Why, perhaps it's good to ask, why was Jesus raised in a family? You know already the answer to the question, why was Jesus need to be born of a woman? You know all the answer of that. Because the only way to be human is to be born of a woman. You cannot be called human if you are not born of a woman. That is important. You can only say that God was incarnate because he was born of a woman. But perhaps a deeper question is, why was he raised in a family? Put yourselves in the shoes of either Mary or Joseph. Put yourselves How can you teach love to a child who is the very love himself? How can you teach knowledge to a child who is the very wisdom himself? How can you teach a child to do carpentry who is the very creator himself? (laughs) What can you teach on a child who knows more than what you know. How can you teach a child about life who is the source of life itself? How can you teach a child about everything or anything who was there before and will be there after? For one simple reason, Jesus was raised in a family not to be taught but perhaps to teach us on how to become a family. Ipinanganak at lumaki sa isang pamilya hindi upang turuan, hubugin, kundi upang ipaalala sa bawat pamilya sa mundong ito kung ano ang alituntunin balaki ng Diyos at ninanais ng Diyos sa bawat pamilya. To be holy doesn't mean to be perfect. Keep that in mind. To be holy doesn't mean to be perfect. Wala namang perfecto eh. Walang perfectong pamilya. Walang perfectong tao. Ang perfecto na lang ngayon, apilyeto. Hindi po ba? Kaya huwag kayo magnanais na kami ay perfectong pamilya. Pag sinabi, sinabi ninyong, perfecto kami, bulag ka. At hindi yan ang adhikain ng Diyos na inyong pamilya ay maging perfecto. Ano ang adhikain ng Diyos? Limang bagay marahil. Ano pa? Unang-una. Unang-una. That we may return to the essence of silence. Silence. You might be wondering why you cannot find any words about St. Joseph. By the way, the Holy Father declares that this liturgical year who started the first Sunday of Advent until the Christ the King of next year is the year of St. Joseph. The year of St. Joseph. But what can we learn in the silence of St. Joseph? Because in silence, it is the only time we can listen to one another. There's a big difference between silence and quiet. There's a big difference. It doesn't mean if you are quiet, you are silent. You know the word silent, S-I-L-E-N-T. If you juggle the letters, you know it will come out with the word listen. Listen. To be silent is to bring back the essence of listening. 
Hindi na tayo nakikinig. Hindi na tayo nakikinig. Kaya tayo napapahamak kasi hindi tayo marunong makinig. We can be quiet, but it doesn't mean we listen. We don't listen anymore. We don't listen to instructions. We don't listen because we are too proud sometimes. To listen is to be docile. It means to be teachable. The only way to listen is to be quiet, to, to, to be silent. And being silent, we become docile, teachable. Ang hirap ng turuan ang bawat isa. Ang hirap ng turuan. Kasi lahat marunong. Lahat marunong. Marunong magdahilan. Marunong mga tuwiran. At ilang beses ko yung sinasabi, kahit kailan, hindi ka pwedeng mga tuwiran sa harapan ng Diyos. Silence lead you to listening. Lead you to decility. And hopefully, you learn to pray again. To meditate and contemplate And perhaps to ask the question, Lord, what are you trying to tell me? Hindi tayo marunong magdasal kasi hindi tayo marunong tumahimik. Hindi tayo marunong magdasal kasi hindi tayo marunong makinig. You have heard this many times that to pray is a skill. But to know what to pray is wisdom. And to pray constantly is a virtue or an act of excellence. You can only do that in silence, without sleeping. Yung iba sa atin, tumatahimik lang dahil tulog. Dahil tulog. At madalas ko yung sinasabi, pinapaalala ko yan, simula pa noon, na pag tinatanong kayo, anong gusto niyong pamamaraan, na kayo ay kukunin ni Lord. Gusto nyo bang madag-anan, malunod, masunog, mabangga? Ano sagot nyo lahat? Sana kunin ako ni Lord habang natutulog. Kaya sa mga misa may namamatay na. Natulog eh. Yung iba nga, online lang. Patay. Natulog eh. Because we don't know how to be silent and attentive enough. Yung mga teacher, alam nila kung sino yung mga estudyante na gustong gusto nila. Yung mga taong tahimik na nakikinig. Second, second, it's only in the Holy Family we learn to love. To love. Not as the emotional definition of love not the romantic way but understanding about love as ordering ourselves for the good of the other the true meaning of love is not about what I receive from the one I love but what I can give to my beloved remember this To love is to order ourselves for the good of the other. If you don't do things for the good of the others, then you are not truly a person of love. Remember that. Remember that. You ask yourself, in what are the things I do? Do I do it for the good of the other? For the good of your wife? For the good of your husband? For the good of your children? To love. Hindi yung emotes. Hindi yung mo mo mo. Feeling natin pag tayo nakapag-text ng, I miss you. Mua, mua, mua. Diba? Sapat na. Tumigil ka. Ha? XO, XO, XO. Ano? Alam niya yan? Pag X pala, hug. Ano ka? X, X kita dyan eh. Diba? Yung O pala, yung O, pag sinabi, X, O, X, O, X, O. Yung O pala, ganun yun. Ibig sabihin, kiss. Di ba? 
gupitin ko yung uso mo. Di ba? Ba't ko alam yan? Nakakatanggap ako niyan. Ha, ano lang nangyari sa atin? Di ba? Ano? Love is not an emotion. It is a decision. Third, hopefully we learn compassion. What is compassion? Willing to suffer with. Willing to suffer with. Ano po sinabi sa mga pagbasa? You want to be blessed? Children, you want to be blessed? Honor your father. Love your mother. You want your prayers to be heard? Honor your father. You want to be rich in the future and well provided? Love your mother. That's the law. That's why we are being put in a family. That you may learn these two things. You want your prayers to be heard. Honor your father. Respect your father. Not because he is good, but because he was put there by God to be respected. Especially when they are old. When they are old. Kaya marami sa atin hindi dinidinig ang panalangin. Hindi tayo marunong gumalang sa sariling ama. Father, hindi siya kagalang-galang. Bakit ikaw? Mabuting anak ka ba? Yun pong itanong. Bakit kami naghihirap, Father? Bakit kulang palagi ang pera? Ang tanong ko doon ay, was there a time you failed to love your mother? You want your prayers to be answered? You want to save for your future? That's the law. That's why it is part of the Ten Commandments. Honor your mother and father. It is the only way to be blessed. Not the, through your career. If you want that God will bless the works of your hands, honor your father. Love your mother. Especially when they grow old. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, magandang pagtulan ng pansin niyo. Silence, love, compassion, and fourth, work. Work. Can you imagine you are God and you have to do carpentry work? Di ba? Siguro natutukso din si Jesus na sabi ng tatay, lagariin mo yan. Katamin mo yan. Di ba, no? Natutukso din siguro nung pag hindi nakatingin si Saint Joseph, ano, walang lagari, ka, putol ka agad. Di ba, no? I'm sure, if you have all the power to create things through your world, pero hindi, Anong pinapaalad doon? Huwag kayong tamad. Mga magulang, turuan ng mga anak na huwag maging tamad. Capital T A M A D. Huwag tamad. Ilang beses ko 'yan sinasabi, pag kayo'y tamad, ang inyong mga anak ay magiging mahirap, ang inyong mga apo ay magiging pulubi. Huwag tamad. Turuan. Huwag kayong magpapakuha doon sa paiyak-iyak. Ha? Punasan mo yan. Hugasan mo yan. Akala mo talaga mamamatay yung bata, pinaguhugas lang ng pinggan. Ay! Ha? Diring-diri. Paglabahin ninyo. Magsimula sa medyas para mahirap. Di ba? No? Ang hirap maglaba ng medyas eh. Ha? Tapos turuan yung mamalansya. Di ba? Kasunod yan, turuan mo na magluto. Rice cooker na nga lang, hindi pa marunong magluto ng kanin. Simple lang yan. Huhugasan mo lang ang bigas. Tapos ilalagay mo na yon sa rice cooker. Tapos gaganunin mo lang kung gaano kalalim yung kanin. Ay, yung bigas, yun ang dami ng tubig. Ilalagay mo na sa rice cooker. Di po ba? 
Ano mahirap doon? Hindi ka na magsisibak. Hindi ka na magsisiga. Hindi ka na maghihip ng... Lumaki ako sa ganun. Kaya ang ilong mo, ang itim ng kulangot, di ba? No? Eh talaga naman. Pero mga bata ngayon, yun lang gagawin. Tinuro ako ang anak ko niyan, Father. Wala kaming kanin ng tanghali. Para yun lang hindi nagawa ng anak mo. Oo. Alas dosi na pagtingin, bigas pa rin. Bakit? Hindi inon. Nasa rice cooker, na iuon lang, hindi pa. Sinunod ko naman ho lahat ng utos nyo. Hinugasyang ko. Sinukat ko, nilagay ko. Yun. Hindi nyo naman sinabing iyon. Pag hindi nyo tinuruan ang inyong mga anak, magugutom kayo. Lalong-lalo na yung mga may sasakyan dito. Yung mga anak ninyo, gustong mag-drive. Di ba? Kung gusto nyo ng sasakyan, kasama dyan ang paghuhugas ng sasakyan. At pag sumasahod na, magpagasulina. Di ba? Ang hirap no ang galing gumamit ng sasakyan. Ayaw maghugas. Ayaw maglagay ng gasolina. Di ba? Anong lalagay mo dyan? Ihi? Di ba? Silence, love, compassion, work. No? At ang walang kasawa-sawa na ano, Teach your child to be a better him or her every day. Because a better child will always be a better parents. A better child will always be a better priest. A better child will always be a good servant. A better child will lead us to a better family. Kaya yung mga gusto mag-asawa, makinig, mga babae, makinig. Never get married of a man who is lazy. Whom you cannot respect. Wag na wag kang mag-aasawa ng isang lalaki na gwapo lang. Pogi eh. Nagparitoke yan. Huwag kang, ha? ha? Gwapo lang. Your good looks can get a wife or a husband. It is the character that keeps the marriage. Remember that. Ano sabi doon? Wives, be submissive to your husband. It means, be respectful. So don't get married with someone you cannot respect. Paya, pag kayo may naliligaw sa inyo, tanong mo kagal, igagalang ko kaya ito? Pag hindi, huwag kayo mag-aasawa. Sapagat magkakasala lang kayo sa Diyos for being unable to respect your husband. Kaya yung mga lalaki, mag-isip kayo. Kayo ba'y kagalang-galang? Kayo ba'y kagalang-galang? Mahirap yung nag-demand ka ng respect, but you have failed to earn it. Again, Why was Jesus raised in a family? That we may learn and go back to the essence of silence. That we may understand love. That we will be able to live in compassion. That we go back to the dignity of work. And hopefully, we will have better children today than yesterday. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, Through Him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. Let's spend few moments of silence and reverence.
And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father in the Son, who with the Father in the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to our Heavenly Father that the Holy Family, the perfect model of every human family, may help each family to grow in understanding of our calling and mission in the church and in the society. And every petition let our response be, listen to the prayer of your family, O Lord. Listen to the prayer of your family, O Lord. May the church, may the church like the family of Nazareth, be an example of unity, faithfulness, and love, especially in places where families suffer internal crisis. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your family, O Lord. May government and civil leaders be mindful of the sacredness and inviolability of the family and its role in God's plan. We pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayer, prayer of your family, family O Lord. Lord. May husbands and wives remain faithful to their covenant of love in marriage and find their fulfillment through the sincere gift of self. We pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayer, prayer of, of your family, family O Lord. Lord. May children honor their parents and give joy to them through love and obedience. May parents bring up their children to live in truth, love, and self-giving. We pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayer, prayer of your, your family, family, O Lord. Lord. May the Lord welcome to the joy of paradise the members of our families who have gone ahead of us. We pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayer, prayer of your family, your family O Lord. Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Please pray for your family. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your family, O Lord. God, our loving Father, hear our prayers and supplications for every family. May we live our days in humble service to you through our concern for the good of everyone, especially in our own family. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
table of the Lord is now prepared. Pray, brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and in your peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in Him God made visible, we may be caught up through Him in love of things invisible. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, Administrator, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence and I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santa Maria Guret, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world, and grant unity and accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace, peace be with you.
Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in Holy Communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
us pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrocina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late in the days coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord. For it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for a new Archbishop for the Archdiocese of Manila. Heavenly Father, you have blessed our Archdiocese time and again with good, holy, learned, and wise shepherds who have led us ever closer to you. Aware of your profound love for us, we ask you to bless us once again. Send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next Archbishop. Inspire us, the clergy, religious, and laity, to work generously with him so that we might grow together in your love and continue the good work you have begun in us for the sake of all people. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions.
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please rise. If if you are not feeling well, please don't go out of your houses and don't go to church. Kung merong sinisipon, inuubo, medyo sinisinat, wag na wag kayong lalabas. Wag kayong mga hawa. Yung mga malulusog, wag masyadong kampante. I guess you have heard the news that we already have someone from United Kingdom who entered our country and tested positive with COVID. Alam nyo naman ang balita na mayroong bagong strain ng COVID na galing sa United Kingdom and it is 70% more infectious. 70%. Isasabihin pa sana ako, hindi na lang. Mag-ingat. Ano pa? Keep the physical distancing. Avoid gatherings. Avoid staying in confined places. Please, do it for the good of your family. Going back to what I've said, Jesus was raised in a family not to be taught, but to teach how to be a family that we listen, that we love, that we be people of compassion, that we bring the dignity of work, and fifth, that every children must be a better children today than yesterday. Remember the words of St. John Paul II, that our future, the road of our future, is the road of our family. The kind of family we have today is the kind of future we have tomorrow. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Ama naming mapagmahal, idinudulog ko po ang lahat ng pamilya saan man sila naroroon. Ang mga naririto at mga nakikinig, kasama namin sa aming mga online masses, Hipuin mo po ang bawat isa, ang bawat pamilya, ang bawat magulang, ang bawat mga anak, maging ang mga kasambahay, ang matatanda sa bawat tahanan ng mga musmus. Panginoon, nawa po ipatuloy mong ingatan, ilayo mo ang lahat sa lahat ng uri ng kapahamakan. Patuloy mong pagkalaban ng kalakasan, kalusugan, at yung mga merong karamdaman, nawa po dulutan mo ng kagalingan. Gabayan mo ang bawat isa, sa kanila mga iniisip at ginagawa. Kung meron man sila mga problema o suliranin, lalong-lalo na sa panahon na ito ng pandemic, nawapoy tuwangan mo sila, alisin mo po ang kanila mga pagkatakot at pangamba. Higit sa lahat ng Panginoon, sa kapistahan na ito ng banal na mag-anak, nawapo ang bawat pamilya ay pagharihan mo ng pagmamahalan, pagkakaisa, pagkakasundo-sundo, kapayapaan, kasayahan, Puspos ng pag-ibig at kasaganahan. Nawapo sa tulong at panalan mga banal, lalong-lalo po ng mahal na biren at ng aming patron, Santa Maria Goretti. Iyo pong pagpalain ang bawat isa sa ngala ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. We have celebrated the Eucharist. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Father.